Tech Brothers with Amiri. In this video, we are going to learn how to create text or CSV file dynamically from table or view in SSIS package by using script task. So now let's go ahead and create our SSIS package. Why, first of all, why we need to do that? What is the reason why we want to create the file dynamically? That means we cannot really rely on the source table or the view. That means the definition of the table or the view can change anytime the new column can be added or maybe uh, new uh, the columns existing columns can be dropped so that's the reason we would like to create uh, this file uh, dynamically if i would like to use the built-in uh, uh, sources and destination my package is going to fail as uh, the number of columns in the source can change anytime so that's the reason now we will go ahead and create our ssis package I will use any table actually so that's good thing you can use this uh, package as a template so you don't have to worry okay I'm creating this package for a uh, table customer so tomorrow you want to use any table any view this should work just fine by only changing one variable value it should create that file for you so you don't have to worry so that's the best part now let's go ahead and in SSDT SQL Server Data Tools right click on SSIS packages new SSIS package let's uh, call this one uh, export export table create file, file dynamically from table or view first of all we will be creating some variables so let's uh, call this one destination folder because uh, we need a folder where this file should be placed uh, so I'm going to uh, select the folder in my case it is uh, going to be destination folder so copy the path there are other variables we will create uh, so we can actually kind of control uh, or change the functionality of our package um, such as uh, we'll be creating a file extension so if you like uh, uh, okay text file fine you can change to the text if you like dot uh, csv you can change so there are a lot of things that we can do here file delimiter this is also very helpful let's say tomorrow you want in okay I want to create uh, the uh, file with the comma delimited but later you decide no I want to create with the uh, pipe sign or tilde or whatever so in that case you can just change the value of this variable from the configuration and it will start working for you next uh, what we need we need uh, to read the data from table or a view let's call this one table name and the uh, table name will be combination of schema and uh, the name of a table or a view let's go back here and get that uh, as of now dbo customer will work just fine so i'm going to go back and say dbo you can put the parenthesis around if uh, uh, you have space in your uh, object name such as very uh, such as uh, like say maybe customer you have sale so in that case uh, you it's a good idea to put uh, parenthesis around otherwise it's gonna fail so in my case uh, I don't have any space but still let's say we will put the parenthesis it's not gonna hurt fine and uh, what else we need uh, a log folder okay log folder if error happen uh, we need to create a log file uh, so we can take a look uh, what exactly went wrong in our skip task and why we had the issue so paste it here and uh, provide the path in my case it is a videos backslash log uh, we are pretty good here and uh, how about providing uh, uh, the file name that we would like to create uh, so at least uh, we can control that part as well file name part I'm gonna use uh, this variable see I'm saying file name part because I want to add the date time to it so you can have file name but I'm, I'm just uh, creating the variable with the name say file name part in this case I will say custom instead of a complete customer I don't want to create the customer I always want to say a custom custom file okay or if I want to change to the customer maybe a regional customer or something I can do it this part will be taken and then date time to uh, will be added and extension will be added and this is the file the limiter and file will be created for DBO customer table now we are pretty much set here as we need to read the data from a database and the table does exist in the database so we have to create a connection manager right click new adio.net connection delete the existing one let's create the new one we have to provide the SQL server instance name 
Give me a second. Sometime uh, things come up uh, urgent and uh, you have to take care of that. Here we will be providing uh, the SQL Server instance name. I'm sorry, there is the software that I'm using that cannot, you really can't stop the video and restart from there. So uh, this moment, uh, I'm really sorry that things came and I had to let you wait. So right click, rename, and uh, we are gonna rename call DB and underscore connection. Now we are all set. Why I'm renaming? Because I can use this one in configuration. And I would know that, okay, this is a configuration for the Tech Brothers IT database. Uh, and that's where it is pointing to. You can use your sales or HR or whatever the database name you want to use instead of Tech Brothers IT. All good. Bring the script task here. Double click, add the variables uh, to the list here. And say, here we have a user. And then we have another user. Uh, these are all the users variable I would like to add again I don't like this part of uh, the script somehow I, I really want to uh, sort it so I can select in a sequence but that's how it is edit script and now we will be adding uh, the script uh, I have written the script already so I'm gonna take you to Tech Brothers IT website uh, and that's where we have uh, SSIS video tutorial tab we'll be going further down and finding a script task once we are there we see a lot of videos and here is our subheading dynamic text and csv files and we see on number eight how to create text or csv file dynamically from a table or a view so click there it's going to open it fine and i have written the script already here and post is written so if you are not interested to listen to me anymore no big deal you got the initial idea and uh, you can copy the code and paste and uh, start working you can always uh, walk through the script in your office if you're not allowed to watch videos so first of all we will be copying the namespaces and here we will be going uh, to the editor and uh, go under the namespaces tab and that's where we need to add now system.io as uh, this namespace will be used uh, we are going to read some uh, sorry write some files uh, and uh, that's where this uh, namespace will be used and uh, we are reading the data from sql so this namespace will be used we have different function and instance from these namespaces come to the public word main and then just remove this part now what we need to do here we need to bring the rest of the code so go to this website and then bring the code i'm going to put this script in the video description uh, the link will be there you can click and it will take you right here so you don't have to worry coming to tech brothers it main website and then ssis video tutorial but um, i suggest uh, uh, coming on tech brothers anyways because they have a lot of good stuff there for you and it's all free so why not and uh, come to the save button here and then go to build and save it let's uh, see no error found build succeeded as we can see on the left uh, uh, side right here so oh, great but the, there are certain things we need to take a look by ourselves um, as the variable names are not validated against SSIS uh, so that's the problem if you have a different variable name SSIS uh, is, uh, this, this script as is not going to tell you hey there is a different uh, variable name you have created and uh, you are trying to use that different one uh, so it is not going to throw error it is saying build succeeded but let's uh, take a look by ourselves and make sure uh, uh, we we have exact uh, variable names come back here and uh, let's open this now you can see that file limiter file extension table name destination folder log folder and file name part so I'm going to open the script on the other side so we can compare okay flat file name part see totally made a mistake here if you are you have your own standard like var file name variable file name you your package is going to fail okay uh, destination folder that's uh, exactly I created table name fine and then I have file delimiter so that's there and then we have file extension that's uh, there but uh, flat file so in our case we have file name part I'm gonna let it be and fail it so I show you the error great come back here now 
also see the connection manager is a totally different uh, so db connection we don't have it so i created a connection manager called db underscore connection underscore tech brothers it so that's what i need to use so i'm going to make a change here at least uh, that we can correct now but uh, i'm leaving one for the error so i can show you the error brothers it good why i'm creating these variables so i'm going to tell you why because i don't want to use this dts dot variable and everything this whole part in my code so i created these variables and save the ssis variable values to these variables fine now starting from the top we have a variable called date time so we created a this variable and save the timestamp so it is a year day month date hour minute and seconds so we can use at different places i can use in the file name as you have seen here and i can use in error log as you can see in the catch block fine let's uh, move forward to the next uh, we are using try block here and uh, declare these variables we already walked through these uh, and using uh, my connection manager that i have created in ssis uh, reading data from table or view to the data table in so it is in memory and i'm saying okay string query select asterisk from a table name remember table name is our uh, variable table name value whatever we have created uh, or provided uh, right here in the table name variable that can be view name it's just uh, we are we are selecting uh, the table name as a variable name you can could have called it object name so your choice uh, come back here now it is going to read everything from that table you can uh, provide filter if you like you can select uh, I, I really don't know like uh, here everybody has different scenarios so people has maybe they always want to have where clause so you can even create a variable for your whole query and build the query there and uh, pass through the configuration so even uh, yes it will select everything you are putting asterisk so it will read all the columns but if you want to have a where clause in that so this will add the where clause so i don't have where clause i am reading everything you know okay fine now this is going to run this is going to load the data into the d underscore table data table and uh, that's going to be in memory once it is there i'm building a file full path variable that is uh, equal to the destination folder backslash file name part so that is remember we have put the cust cus3 underscore date time will be added and extension will be added good now we are saying stream writer so we are creating a new instance of stream writer and providing a file name full path so we are telling okay use this file full path and that's where you need to write okay write to the header row so we read the header and write that information now again we need to read all those uh, data file uh, data rows and write to the file so that's what we are doing and finally close the file connection great this is the first file and uh, this is the only file we have it so i have another video if you want to loop through the list of the tables and create uh, the files for them you can watch that video and uh, if uh, error happen we will be going to catch block and uh, error file will be created in log folder and the name will be error log underscore date time dot log fine we have done excellent job here so close it and now we are gonna run the package it will fail as we already know that we have file name part not flat file name part variable so let's see what happened now close sorry stop the package videos log folder and log file is created okay the element cannot be found in the collection and then further read uh, right here say oh variables fine so this is the problem we know that this variable does not exist that's the problem now we close it and come back and fix it so we have file name part we can change to the flat file name part then change it here or we can go back to the actual script and say okay let me change the flat file name part to the file name part so once the script editor will open we'll make that change and we will be all set let's uh, make it minimize and here you remember file flat file name part that's not a uh, correct one so we have corrected and it is file name part so save it close it i hope it will not fail again so let's run it it should create a, a file for us from dbo customer table success awesome go back to the destination and take a look 
file is created it is cursed underscore date and you can see we have a very nice file id with commas and all that now great uh, let's make a small change in the package now i'm not interested to create dot text file i want to create dot csv file so just simply change the extension and uh, instead of custer i want to say customer because cust doesn't really make sense to me so now i'm gonna go and run the package okay so we go back and take a look and this is a csv file created see the customer name came correctly and now what we have here we have id name date of birth and file name so everything is there you can just expand it and take a look close it works just fine now we are going to go ahead and change uh, more things i'm interested to create the files with the pipe um, okay, I don't want to read the data from a view, sorry, table. Now I want to read the data from the view. So that's a new requirement or maybe any table name. So STG, that's my view name. I'm going to get it. And then here I will call this one STG. Remember these values for the variable will be coming from the configuration. So you are not coming back to the package and making changes. So once you deploy your package, you are all done stg dot view you can put the parentheses but there is no space and anything so we are fine it is going to run and then it is going to create the customer file you could have changed the name but as we didn't change the name so i'm going to change one more time and say vw customer that means a view customer so that is coming from a view it's not going to make a whole lot of difference but uh, you will at least make us satisfy okay this data is coming from the view so we go back stop the package and come back here and now we'll say file is created right click here and i'm going to open as uh, open with the notepad so you see the pipe sign right there so that's how you will see and uh, the file is created successfully great this is how you will be creating an SSIS package that can read the data dynamically from your table or a view when you are not sure when the definition of a table or view can change. So this is really awesome. You can use this one as a template. And uh, uh, once you have this package, you can copy and paste and uh, maybe you can use for so many different scenarios. Again, thanks very much for watching on this video and I appreciate your time and I will see you guys in the next video.